the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to cross this one over to the side. Right. I'm going to cross this one over to the side. So the two on the far end went crisscross, right? And they stay up top. Okay. This one right here, if you look at it, it's over the top of this one. Right? This one I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna bring down to the opposite side on the bottom. Right? That's gonna be your first step to get everything started. Okay? This right here, after this, it's automatic. Right? Once you're here, what you're gonna do is only work with these two strands, right? You're only gonna work with the side that has extra, right? This side has two, I'm not touching it. This side has four. One of these has to go, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I like to, like I said, use two hands, and I grab both of them simultaneously, right? This one right here is going to cross and up, right? This one right here is going across and down. Now what side has too many? Right. This side only has two, this side has four. Right. Again, I'm gonna grab these two right here, All right? The one that's on the very tippity top, is always gonna go down, right? The second one is always gonna go across and up, right? So then I grab these two, one of them goes across and up, and the other one goes across and down, okay? Back to the, right? This one has too many, so we need to get, get rid of one of these. Across and up, across and down. 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 When you get here, pinch all your dough together, right. and it doesn't look that pretty. All right. All right. That right there doesn't look that pretty, so then you can just kind of push that underneath and let that be the bottom of your, of your braided bread. All right. All right. You can do the same thing over here kind of tuck that underneath. And this right here is going to be your end product. 